What is up guys, I'm Charles Williams. Thank you, this is Wolf S here to educate you on health and social well-being. And today, guys, we're gonna be talking about muscle imbalances, specifically talking about muscle imbalances on your left or right side. I've already addressed things like, you know, your posterior chain from your anterior chain as far as making sure that, you know, you're not doing way more pressing motions than you're doing pulling motions, making sure that like, you know, you can't bench 315 for reps easily, but can barely pull 225, you know, for like bent over barbell rows, things like that as far as like muscle imbalances from the front and back, just to help for overall joint health, structural integrity, etc. But what I want to talk to you about today is more of like the symmetrical muscle balance. Like, you know, a lot of people think like, you know, hey, uh, my left chest is bigger than my right chest, or my left arm is bigger than my right arm, things like that. And I don't want to talk too much about like, the no disrespect the body dysmorphia aspect of it because there's some people where it's like okay understand this you will never be perfectly symmetrical it's impossible it's not going to happen just because that's how we are as humans there's no human being that is perfectly symmetrical even if they look really close if you actually take some measurements you'll find that they're you know point whatever off and some people they'll be they'll notice that point whatever it is nobody else sees it nobody else notices it but they do and they just go way overboard with trying to fix that. There's, I'm not talking about that, but I'm talking about like actual legit imbalances, like where like one side of your body is clearly like, you know, either maybe like your, your chest more elevated than the other, or maybe like your arms clearly bigger than the other. You have like one quad that's way bigger than the other, things like that. And I just want to first address a few myths and misconceptions. So number one, a lot of people believe that barbell work or only doing like barbell work or only doing bilateral movements, which means, you know, you're, um, using both limbs together at the same time to move the same amount of weight, that that's what causes like, you know, muscle imbalances. So to fix it, you just gotta do like, you know, dumbbells or hammer strength, unilateral machines where each side works independently, things like that. And I understand where that mindset comes from. I used to believe that myself about like two years ago. It wasn't until two years ago when I started realizing, okay, there's a lot more to it than that, than just like using dumbbells or utilizing things like, you know, hammer strength machines or things where your sides work independently. Because what we have to understand guys is that the mindset is that, okay, if you use dumbbells, then the weight will be balanced. Cause you know, like, let's say you do a shoulder press, you have a 50 in each hand, it's gonna be balanced. But the reality is guys, if you're squatting and you make sure like you're under the bar perfectly right in the middle, or if you're bench pressing and you're not holding the bar unevenly, then the weight's still balanced. Assuming you have the same amount of plates on each side, the weight's still balanced. It's on like the outside, right? So like th that shouldn't be compromising your integrity or muscle imbalances. Even if you like, you know, you're struggling, you're locking out, and you kind of like, you know, oh, barely push up a little bit one hand and the other, doing that isn't going to create like these huge imbalances that we see within people. So that's the first thing, understanding that you, that barbells do not by default create muscle imbalances and dumbbells or unilateral work does not by default fix muscle imbalances. As a matter of fact, the reality is, and let's get right into it. So the reality is what really causes guys these muscle imbalances more than anything is your structural integrity. And that happens through a couple of ways. A lot of it is just things we do in our everyday life. Like if we always lean more on one side than the other, if we always carry a bag more on one side than the other, things like that. Or if like, you know, we play a sport and one side's really dominant, doing a lot more work than another one. Like whether it's like, you know, golf, baseball, or if you play soccer and you only kick like with your right leg, whatever it may be. Or if you're in the gym when you're working out, whether you're using a barbell or a dumbbell, I know you guys have seen this almost like you're bench pressing, right? And instead of coming up even like they're kind of doing this, but instead of it just being their arms, they're like eh, shifting, like their whole body shifting under the bar itself. And the same thing can happen with dumbbells. How many of you have seen this? I know some of you have seen this when you're, when you're like in the gym, someone's doing a dumbbell shoulder press. I actually have a client that we're working on this right now. And like they push it nice and even, right? But whenever it gets hard, they start shifting, things like that because of, how physics work and biomechanics work, it feels easier when we get the dumbbell in a certain spot. So we try to like shift the weight up that way. And what that's doing is compromising your structural integrity. And that's why in my video over like working to failure, I talked about how a lot of people, including myself, we gauge we're training to failure based off how many reps can you hit with proper form. Meaning if you can squeeze one or two more reps out, but your form is compromised, your structural integrity is broken, then we no longer count that you've hit failure at that point. And this is the reason why, because it creates problems like this. It creates muscle imbalances because you have to think about it. Like I said, coming up on a bench press, if you do this a little bit, like just not all the time, obviously you want to make, make it smooth, but like doing this, coming up a little bit on one side first and the other, isn't going to create such a huge muscle imbalance, right? But when you're literally shifting your weight to where you're letting your stronger side take more of the load than your weaker side, that's where the problems come in. Or if you're doing um, dumbbell curls, for example, right? Even this, which is like unilateral exercise, right? 
and you're doing this, right? Good to go. And with your stronger side, you come up no problem but with your weaker side to get that. Let's say you got eight reps on your stronger side and trying to get that eight final rep on the weaker side. Instead of coming up like you, you kind of, uh, you cheat, things like that. Structural integrity, which is why I always recommend to people if you're doing unilateral work, always start with your weaker side. Always see how many reps you can do with your weaker side and then match that with your stronger side because your, your stronger side is going to be able to keep up with your weaker side, but the reverse may not necessarily be true. So that's why you want to make sure you're doing that. And as far as understanding things that whether you're using barbell or dumbbells is your form. When you're bench pressing, you want that nice, tight, retracted scapula. You guys have seen the bench tutorial video that I've done, hopefully, and you understand where your hand placement should be, how your form should be. You want to keep that tight. I put so much emphasis on that in that video. Keep everything tight from the start all the way to the top. You want to keep it tight because when you lose tightness and start shifting around in the bar, your structural integrity is broken. And that is what creates muscle imbalances, guys. It's not this myth that barbell work or excessive barbell work is going to automatically create muscle imbalance. Guys, I do way more barbell work than um, dumbbell work. I would do way more bilateral work than unilateral work. I still incorporate unilateral work, but the amount of unilateral work that I do compared to bilateral work is so minimum to where if it was true that no matter what, if you just focus on barbells or bilateral movements, you're gonna have huge muscle imbalances that I would be walking around like this like all the time. Like my pecs would be clearly uneven, my biceps would be way uneven. But like aside from like, you know, just the natural fact that I'm not gonna be perfectly symmetrical, my muscle mass is pretty even. Now from personal experience, I did have a point where one of my traps was slightly more elevated than the other. I would like like be standing straight, but I would look like this. And where that came from, guys, was uh, when I was younger, um, playing football, like out in the field with a bunch of kids, stuff like that, getting tackled by bigger dudes. And being young, you know, we get up, we heal, we recover quickly, don't think about it, but after getting tackled from like pretty much the same side over and over, because you know, you have a dog on the side that you run to, so people tend to attack you from whatever other side that is. Um, basically, it created like a structural integrity problem, kind of like with my spine where I kind of like curved like that. So it kind of had me, looking like this. So, you know, went to a chiropractor, got it fixed, did some rehabilitative exercise, and now I'm good to go, no problem with that, but it just showed structural integrity. And once again, things like people who always carry something on one side of their body, like when you do that, so keep that in mind. Just be aware of being balanced outside the gym as well. Make sure that you're not always using one side to do something more than the other. Try to get really good at using both sides of your bodies, whether it's in sports or whether it's like, you know, carrying things, just doing whatever you're doing outside, that's fine. And obviously for your sport, you're gonna have a more dominant side for specific things, and that's okay. It's just making sure that you're doing things outside of that to help balance that out. So that's what really causes muscle imbalances, guys. It's gonna be your structural integrity. It's not, and the fact is, even if you go, even if you do unilateral work only, and I know this for a fact, because like, I, <laughs> I have, I've tested this before, like not to say that I use my clients as guinea pigs, but oftentimes, if a client has a certain issue, I'm like, okay, we're gonna try this out, we're gonna test this out for a few weeks to a few months, see how it goes, and if they agree, it's like, okay, cool. So I've, we've test, I've tested this before myself, and there's plenty of research out there on it, guys. Like, that's the most thing that I tell you guys about, if I put a quick read down below, it's just to kind of summarize things, but a lot of these things, it's because I like, once again want you guys to be self-regulated and to go look for yourself, go look at the research behind it. Even if somebody does all um, unilateral work, whether it's dumbbells, hammer strength machines, or just a normal machine, if they still have the problem with the structural integrity, they're shifting, like, even if it's a hammer strength machine, it's just like a hammer strength machine, but they're still shifting around stuff like that, it doesn't correct the muscle imbalances. Oftentimes, they'll become worse because at least when you're holding a barbell, even if you're kind of like, you know, trying to shift and stuff, you're still kind of pushing it together. But with something like this, if you're able to just bust out way more reps with this than this one, but you're doing a bunch of bad form, bringing structural integrity with the other side, it can oftentimes make your muscle imbalances worse. So mind you, this isn't a pro barbell only video or a, oh, I'm against dumbbell use. You guys, you guys have seen my training. You know that I utilize everything. It's just understanding and addressing the misconception of barbells equal muscle imbalances dumbbells and you know how to work equal fixing muscle imbalances. It's not how it works guys. It's all about structural integrity. A person could go their entire life using just barbell only or bilateral movements only and not have to deal with muscle imbalances if their structural integrity stays the same. And the reverse is also true. A person can go their entire life doing nothing but dumbbells and you know how to work. But their structural integrity is off, they're still gonna have muscle imbalances. So that's pretty much it guys. It's pretty quick, pretty simple, straight to the point. And it all just comes down to using proper form and not grinding out so many improper reps. Like, like I said, there's no, sometimes when, when you grind, I mean like the, maybe the reps are a bit slower than what you want, but you can maintain form, that's okay. But when you start grinding so hard because your muscles can't handle anymore to where you start depending on one side or the other, you start shipping your body around, you've hit failure, you need to stop. Simple as that. Even if you're training the higher rep ranges, it gets to the point where, okay, you hit failure already, stop. Just because you can squeeze a couple more reps out doesn't mean you didn't already hit failure. 
like I said, there's what we deem as like failure in the sense of like, hey, from a sports performance standpoint, you failed. And then there's, I guess, true failure, like, oh, I can't move, excuse me, right? but we don't even really want to get to that point. Anyway, that's it for the video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please leave a comment down below. Let me know that you did. If you did not enjoy it, leave a comment down below. Let me know what I can do to get better. Like the video, share, subscribe, keep it simple, specific, scientific. I'll catch y'all later.